hello hello welcome you all so good evening uh, we'll start the webinar now so first of all good evening all and uh, welcome you all to the this sixth webinar of the webinar series of indica uh, we are take we are conducting this webinar from last uh, six months and i have been have re received a good response from all over the uh, uh, community and the guests so this webinar series is all about the real uh, use cases and the practical demonstration of existing and uh, newly developed functionalities from the erp next and uh, the frappe for past 14 years electra uh, is implementing the 400 plus have implemented 400 plus uh, implementations of ERP next and uh, work with uh, many clients across the 70 plus countries uh, several times uh, we have uh, we have received a client approach from the client regarding the facing the challenges about the intercompany transactions and many of our customers have uh, multiple offices and branches in all over the world and but they are facing many challenges while doing the inter uh, intercompany transactions so while dealing with them uh, we have developed some solutions and erp next have existing system and have existing solution to deal with it so but erp next has made this very easy for all of us so we thought that why not take a webinar on this and uh, let others also know how the intercompany transaction work in ERP next uh, to, so today's webinar will be conducted by Manoj Kumar uh, he is our functional consultant and he is a certified functional consultant from Rapid. Uh, he has been working on various SAP Odoo and other uh, ERPs for last several years and for three to four years he has been working on the uh, ERP next. So he have a strong experience in dealing with this ERP. So uh, like Manoj, we have also many team members who are the functional consultant and who are the expert. Uh, and we have some 80 plus team members who, because of whom we have raised the 400 clients. So now uh, let's start with our today's webinar. Uh, over to you, Manoj. Right. Uh, hi, everyone. Good evening. And thanks, thanks, Tejas, for the such an introduction. OK, so I am ready to start the webinar. OK, so now uh, I am going to share some like uh, one of the use case that the customer is like customer was asking about the, uh, the uh, one of the scenario. OK, so let me share my screen first. Okay. Hope you can see my screen, right? Okay. Okay. So the the problem statement, like they we receive the requirement from the customer, uh, they have the five branches in the uh, five different state of the India, right? And they have only one accounting units, okay, where they maintain the all the accounts for all the five branches. Okay. This is this is was like a second requirement, then. They, they wanted to do the sales and the purchase transaction in this single login ID without the switching the different different logins. Okay, and uh, the fourth requirement like the, the branches, the branch to branch stock transfer. Okay, as we know, like the whenever we need to transfer some kind of goods from one location to this another location, uh, like we need to uh, create the eBay bill, right? At that time, the they wanted to only require the GST liability. Okay. So uh, they wanted to transfer the material as well as only GST liability should be uh, um, like uh, affected. Okay. Okay. So what are the challenges that they are uh, they was facing in the existing ERP? So the first is like the switching to the different logins for the invoicing was that was the time consuming. Also, it, it will create the confusion to the users as well. Okay. Then the manual effort. Suppose 
they made any kind of transaction let, let's say they, suppose they have made the sales invoice right so again they need to book the purchase invoice manually okay uh, so these are the um, challenges that they are facing okay also one more the uh, real time visibility as they are doing the both the activity manually they don't have like the real time visibility uh so about the client so actually the where we have implemented uh, this this kind of the intercompany transactions or in, intercompany transfer you may say so that that company scenario is like the, the they are the manufacturer industry and they have the four, more than 400 uh, employee and uh, the five branches that i already explained and the, the manufacturing unit yes they have only one manufacturing unit where they are going to manufacture the items and uh, like transfer to the different different branches uh the age of the company like more than 25 years and there's 700 more customers suppliers sorry and they are also dealing with the public and the private sectors so uh like we we got a requirement then we we develop like we designed the solution how to configure this kind of scenario as this this is the standard functionality that available in the erp next okay but to configure this scenario uh we, we have developed like a, the, we have designed as a, one of the solution like we have created the one company and uh like and created the five different branches as they they have the uh, five branches in the or or in india right so after that each we have created like a uh in each branch they, they, we have maintained like a, they have five branches so five different addresses so what we did we have created the customer like the same name suppose name company name is indic trans private limited so we have created the customer name like indic trans private limited and they have five branches right so we have created the five different addresses for that okay as a customer then similarly we have created the supplier okay and maintain the five address as we are doing the inter transactions so this is the solution that we have to design then uh the industries that uh what kind of industry they can uh suitable for this kind of tra transactions so uh like the child company okay so let's say you have the structure like one of the group company okay one of the group company and you have the child company over there so in in the, in this case you can do the intercompany transaction or uh, intercompany transfer where you want only gst effect not the you this is not your uh, uh like a supplier customer right where you are going to sell in the entire amount or this is the second scenario suppose we have the company indic trans private limited and we have branches like pune mumbai hyderabad like that okay so these are the two cases where we can implement this kind of scenario so uh now uh, like uh we, we uh for the demo purpose we have configured this kind of scenario in the uh our local server so the we are going to show you like the how to do the intercompany uh, transfer branch to branch let's say the company name is the indie trans private limited and they are they have the two branches like a pune and hyderabad okay so first of all I'm going to the company where I will show you the like company list. Okay. The company's entity trans private limited now branches. So Pune and Hyderabad, there are two branches, right? So okay. So this is, in this way, we have configured the company and branch. Next. The next step is like we need to configure the uh, customer master, right? So uh, we will go to the directly in the screen. Now I'm going to the customer master. Now you can see here, like the indic trans private limited the same company name and the uh, the customer name is the same 
okay where this is the a setting like to allow the internal customer okay so uh, we, we need to check the checkbox as we are doing the internal transfer represent company we need to select the internal like the whose company is representing this right so in the trans private limited is a representing company and allow transaction with so we are allowing the transaction with indi trans private limited itself right so this is the configuration that required on the customer master after that in the contact okay in the contact uh, we have maintained the two different addresses like one of the uh, telangana hyderabad right and one is the maharashtra so we are maintaining the two branches right so similarly we have configured the supplier master as well okay. the same name indi trans private limited and i am going to click on the contact address the true addresses maharashtra and telangana okay here the internal supplier the checkbox is true representing company in the trans private limited and allow transaction with in the trans private limited okay apart from this if i go to the my company master here i have maintained the two branches company address here itself okay so these are the two address now okay so this is the primary setup that required for the internal transfer the customer master and supplier master is done right now uh, like we are going to see how we are going to do the in, uh, inter company purchase and sales like uh, uh, in this scenario we are going to purchase from the hyderabad branch and uh, the selling will be done from the pune branch okay so the both the uh, entire cycle like the placing the purchase order then the good receipt is there and then grm sorry the purchase purchase invoice booking is there so in the my left side there is a purchase cycle you can say and in the my right side uh, there is a sale cycle okay so uh, i am going to switch on the okay switch to my login okay so i'm showing you the one transaction because uh, let's say the purchase order okay so now we are going to create the purchase order supplier name is indic trans private limited suppose we need by today itself the branch so i am purchasing from the hyderabad branch and the purchase department is my cost center okay i am going to select my warehouse where i am going to receive this item just confirm the address yes so my supplier address is coming automatically over here like the worship park maharashtra and my uh, billing as i am purchasing from the hyderabad branch so hyderabad branch will be over there appear here now i am going to save this and submit okay so here we got the button like a create internal sales order right so similarly we can click here and do the sales invoice sales order sorry so you can see like we are doing the say, purchase transaction and sales transaction from the same instant with the same user id without changing the uh, users right so i'm showing you the one of the the transaction that i did okay so let's say this is the sales order that we have created okay now if you click on the my the more information here you can see the purchase order number will be appear over there 
okay so i made the purchase as well as i made the sales order right so in the connection we have created the delivery note as well as as we have uh, delivered this item to hyderabad branch right so the delivery note is created here we can see the status like the stock ledger okay you can see here from the pune warehouse okay we have dispatched this item to the goods in transaction goods in transit why it's showing the goods in transit because we are doing the internal transfer okay so at the time of receiving we need to select like the the receiving uh, receiving warehouse so okay also we have created like the this sales invoice from the this delivery note once the my item is delivered to the like the hyderabad branch right so we are going to make the purchase receipt that is the uh, 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 goods receipt note right so i will show you the goods receipt note as well that we have created in the erp next we can call it like a purchase receipt okay this is the purchase receipt that we we receive the we are going to select the uh, accepted warehouse like uh, uh, finished good hyderabad and i can show you the stock ledger as well sorry okay from the goods in transit warehouse to the fg hyderabad hyderabad okay so it means that we receive this one item from this uh, warehouse okay so this is my purchase receipt now if i click on the uh, more information here you can see that i can see my delivery note reference itself okay so again i am switching to the my sales cycle so purchase cycle and sales cycle we are jumping in the same instant so the, the delivery net uh, if i click on the uh, connections we can see here we are already created one sales invoice where we can see the accounting effect okay so i am going to open the sales invoice we can see here the uh, irn also the created view accounting ledger okay in the accounting ledger as per the uh, client requirement right they wanted only the gst effect so the gst liability is created over here okay. if i go back i can show you the entire invoice like the 1000 was the item price the gst effect okay so in this way we can do the sales transaction as well okay so this is the sales invoice and you can see the status of the sales invoice is internal transfer okay so the goods is transferred okay and now i'm again switching to my presentation okay so the placing intercompany purchase order then we have placed the sales order then the delivery note where we have seen the stock effect after that the purchase receipt right and then now we are going to see the effect where the in the gstr 2b report right sorry gstr 1 okay so uh, okay here in the gstr 1 i can select here my pune as I'm, I made the sales transaction from this ID, right? So I have selected that one and I will select the today's date. Okay. Okay. And from that, let's say today. Sorry. So, uh, like we made uh, the two transaction in the today's date. So we can see here in the B2B invoices as this is the my registered uh, supplier or the customer. So that's why we can see here the that uh, gst effect right 
like this is my sales invoice number the invoice amount is over there and the rate of the gst percentage or if you want to add the gst column as well so you can add from here itself so total taxes and charges yes and i want to taxable amount okay so i am going to insert this column after taxable amount so here we can see the 180 rupees was the gst impact in the gstr1 similarly whatever the purchase that we we done uh, we we will check in the gstr3b so here company so now I'm going to select here the Hyderabad branch GSTN number. Okay. So this is my second Hyderabad GSTN number. Select year like 2023 month and the section uh, like eligible for ITC. Okay. So in this month, these are the my purchase invoices. Okay. Now, if if you want, you can add here the sales invoice column as well. Okay. So this is the way that we can see the impact of the gstr1 and the gstr uh, 3b okay the, the, the internal transfer okay and then okay. so so in this way we we have like the configure the system like the branch wise okay so after the implementation the smooth transaction happening right like the using the single login they can be able to book the invoices okay for the multiple branch at the same time okay then the uh, re require minimal verification as there is no chances of error other uh, why verification needed we need to just check like the we, we need to select the branch suppose we are making the transaction from the pune branch so at least you need to select the uh, your branch pune in the sales sales invoice or the purchase invoice okay and the real time visibility as we have seen like once i have created the sales order we can jump on the uh like it's a delivery note and from delivery note we can directly jump on the purchase receipt right so we get the idea like the, from both the branches at the similar time so that's why the, there is a real time visibility is there uh these are the purpose and key features of that this kind of this particular uh intercompany transactions like the uh, enhance the efficiency and reduce reduce the error as we don't need to like select the every details we don't need to add the item name and item price the everything will be captured from the your previous transaction let's say we have created the purchase order so the, all the the data will be automatically fetched in the next document you just need to select like a branch where and uh, the cost center where you want to map these kind of the transactions then the, the key features are like the seamless integration as you see in like the real time updates between the two interconnected company to our multiple branches as well okay and the efficient uh, efficient communication as this this is happening in the real time so the, the there is no communication gap right so uh, this is the summary uh, like we have seen the requirement from the client how we receive and the what are the challenges they are facing and the solution that we have provided like the creating the different different branches and maintain their address uh, then the uh, in industries that are suitable for the intercompany transaction that we have seen and the required configuration is the purchase order itself so uh, this is like a purchase cycle and the sales cycle and the stock effect and accounting so uh, I think I have covered from my side. If you have any kind of question, you can ask. Hello, everyone. Uh, if you feel free to anyone. Hello. Yes. 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 Yeah, my name is Ali Usman from Nigeria. Hi. Hi. Yes, um, this is a very informative uh, webinar. I actually learn a lot from it. Um, I've been thinking, how can we do 
a trans because I have a client who want uh, who want to have like a, a platform like AliExpress. You know AliExpress, right? Okay. Yeah, whereby the vendors are one side, and he has mm -hmm. the website, the e-commerce side. So when we try to, whenever he tried to sell, the major challenge we face is you cannot sell items that are not in your warehouse. You cannot sell okay. items from another company warehouse. How can you advise me to take care of that? Okay, so you need to check like your the stock balance is available or not, right? The, the stock balances are available in the vendor's warehouse. But okay. let's, say, let's say like the vendor is company ABC. Mm -hmm. And then the web the website on the e-commerce site owner is company XYZ. So okay. since they are two different companies, though they are mm -hmm. all on the e, uh, ERP's, uh, ERP Next platform, because you want to create the the companies as a part of his uh, ERP platform, like just normal companies in so that they come the business the vendors have their accounting and everything but the challenge he's having is the items are available in the vendor warehouse and they mm -hmm. can be they, they can be seen on the website but if you place order to be able to sell them you uh, for the order to complete you have to have that item in your own warehouse not in company abc warehouse the items must be from because the web the e-commerce site belongs to company xyz so the i if i want to sell myself a cell phone in mm -hmm. that belongs to company abc from mm -hmm. website a, uh, xyz the the customer will see the cell phone the mobile phone but if he place the order on that mobile phone that he wants to buy it the challenge is erp next will pop an arrow that that mobile phone is not in company XYZ warehouse, even though it is in company XYZ and is visible on the website. So when I checked, I realized uh, it's a kind of security created by uh, in the ERP next, not to allow sales directly of from warehouse that did not belong to a company. So I wanted to find a solution. How can how would you suggest that I I have that I take that solution? Uh uh, maybe you can uh, Tejas, uh, please provide the mail ID, right? Because we need to like do the research on that, like how we can achieve your requirement. Okay, but this is the scenario that I'm going. I have explained is related to only intercompany transactions where we want to track only GST liability. Okay, because it, this scenario is only possible between the parent company and their child company or the company and their branch, where you are going to transfer the. Okay items okay without the any kind of paying some money or nothing you just need to transfer the your goods because in the items india there is from, from warehouse x to y in the india there is one law like suppose you are transferring some kind of item from one location to another location you need to create the e-way bill okay and uh, this is the okay. only possible if you do the sales invoicing right at that time, you can create the eBay bill, and then you can generate the uh, like a sales invoice. Okay, right. Okay. So this is the scenario. Okay, okay. So uh, what of let's say like it's not from let's say like from company A to company B, but it's not a branch mm -hmm. and it's not a parent company. There are two individual companies running on the same. Is it possible? No. So, 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 so in this, no. In that case, this is not possible because this is the similar like supplier and customer relation. Yes. Okay. Because this is not the your company, so you can create like a supplier or customer. What is the what are the relation? Because see, you are you are sending the sales in as was thousand USD, and you are giving you you are going to receive the thousand USD. So it means that this is the relation of the customer and company. So you cannot okay. maintain this kind of transaction. So, right. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you very Can much. Can I interrupt? Yes, Excuse sir. Me?
can i enter yes sir yeah. uh, let me uh, say my suggestion on this okay. case Okay. Yeah, you can allow a uh, negative transaction for uh, uh, the A company, and you can uh, from the back end you can generate a sales order to the B company. Oh, okay, okay. From, from the back okay. end, that means uh, okay, so so the sales order will be uh, submitted, and you uh, upon submitting the sales order, you can generate a uh, purchase order to the. Uh, B company uh, uh, through the uh, server script. I understand. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Actually, that shed, thank you. That shed a lot of light. Thank you very much. Yep. Okay. Thank you for giving me time. <laughs> okay. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Any any more questions? Anyone questions? You have any questions? Uh, okay then. Indicans, team members, uh, your webinar was uh, very helpful. Thank you for on the uh, chat. Yep. So thank you, thank you. So uh, if anyone don't have any questions, uh, let's close the webinar. Thank you everyone for joining this webinar. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Everyone.